Okay, welcome again, students. This is part two of our long division journey. We have done part one, so for those who have not watched the part one video, you can always go back to see how we went through the steps. Now, I've had students who, after completing similar questions like what we did in part one, they are still not sure how to go about answering questions like this, and I'll show you why. Okay, so let's get into it. All right, we're gonna set out our problem like before. The dividend goes here, the divisor goes here. So if you notice, when we try to divide the first number, remember that's our first step, we're dividing the first number by six, we get a zero. Okay, so I'm gonna go through that way for those students who would not have understood what to do at this point, and we'll see how we will still arrive at the correct answer. So let's start. Two divided by six. How many groups of six can we get out of two? The answer is zero. Okay? Then six times zero, which is our second step. The answer is zero. Then we subtract, which is the third step. We are left with two. And then we bring down. So now we have 24. Again, we go back to our first step. 24 divided by 6, that's 4. 6 times 4, second step, 24. Third step, we subtract. 24 take away 24, that's 0. Okay, I'm doing it column by column so that you understand what I did. Alright, the next step is to bring down. Alright, and again, make sure you pay attention to where the number goes when you bring the number down. It goes just in line with your subtraction. Okay, so now we have 0. Divided by 6, again, can get a group of 6 out of 0, so the answer is 0. Step 2, we multiply, 6 times 0 is 0. Then we subtract, and the answer is 0. Okay? Then, step 4, we bring down, again, paying attention to where I bring the 6. So, 6 divided by 6, the answer is 1. Second step, 6 times 1, that's 6. Third step, we subtract. 6 take away 6 is 0. There are no more numbers to bring down, so we are finished. Again, this 0 here has no significance, so we can simply erase it, okay, because it doesn't have any significance to our number. It just basically allowed us to go through the steps if you had any difficulty. Now let me show you, we're going to put the problem again, so we're still going to do the same example, 2, 4, 0, 6, okay? This is our dividend, and this is our divisor. Now, if the first number that you're trying to divide is less than the divisor, then you use two numbers, okay? So instead of trying to divide 2 by 6, we divide 24 by 6, okay? So when we divide 24 by 6, meaning how many groups of 6 can we get out of 24? The answer is 4. Now we do not place the 4 above the first number. You place it above the second number because these two numbers are working together. So you place the answer above the second number. Okay? We couldn't divide by 2 alone, so we divide it by 24. So our answer goes above the final number in the two numbers that we were trying to divide. Okay, so let me multiply, that's the second step, 6 times 4 is 24. Third step says to subtract, we subtract, we are left with zeros, then we bring down, again, pay attention to where the number goes when we bring it down, 0 divided by 6, again we can't, right, so that's a 0. Then we to our, go to our second step, 6 times 0 is 0, third step we subtract, 0 take away 0 is 0. And just for the benefit of those who are wondering, why is it that I'm not bringing down these zeros? Since there's only one zero we're dividing here, then I just put the answer here. These remember I said before, these are insignificant, okay? So now we, after we did our subtraction, which is step 3, we bring down the next number, which is step 4. So 6 divided by 6, that's 1. Second step, 
6 times 1 is 6. Third step, we subtract. 6 take away 6 is 0. We look to see if there are any more numbers to bring down. If there are no more numbers to bring down. That means our process is finished. Once we can't bring down any more numbers, then there's nothing for us to start again. Okay, so our answer is 401. If you notice, it's the same answer as this one. We had a zero here, but the zero didn't have any value, so I erased it. Okay, so if you were not sure, right, when you saw the first number and you were not able to divide the first number by our divisor, then you use the first two numbers. Okay, and that's it for part two. Our next um, video will introduce um, long division when there is a remainder. What do we do when we have a remainder? So instead of having zero at the end, what do we do when there's a number here that's greater than zero, we do not have any more numbers to bring down, how do we treat that remainder? Okay? Stay tuned. See you next time.